Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool refrigerator tracks. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get a set of tracks. The main reason you'll be changing out the tracks is if they're damaged and they're not supporting the shelf anymore. In order to do the repair, we have to open up the freezer door. In order to remove the tracks, we have to first pull out the shelf. Just pull it out till it stops, lift up, pull it out the rest of the way. We're going to remove the rails with a Phillips head screwdriver. The right side is done exactly the same way. Just remove the two screws. Here's the old tracks next to the new tracks. If you already have these, great. If not, you can get them at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you put the tracks in, remember the wide one goes on the left. And we're going to go ahead and put it in with the rear screw first. Same as the left side, we're going to do the rear first. Now that we have the tracks in, we can reinstall the basket and close the freezer door. Now that you're done repairing your refrigerator, you can plug it back in, make sure that it starts to cool off and that the temperatures return to normal. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.